I get it. Illustrator is a big scary beast as a beginner. There's so many tools, so many options, you don't know where to begin and it can feel like you're floundering. As a creative, you have all of these ideas but you just lack the skills and the know-how to implement them. So instead of making your life difficult with all of these options, let's break it down to basic shapes. The potential of creating weird and wonderful and awesome stuff just using basic shapes is huge. As you're growing creatively, you'll start having need for all those weird and wonderful tools you're seeing in Illustrator, but let's start at the basics and get things right. So come with me into this tutorial. We'll create four pieces of fruit using basic shapes and I'm gonna show you little methods and things that you can do to manipulate those shapes to create your desired outcome. Let's not make things too complicated for ourselves and let's just get into it. So here we are in Illustrator. I'm going to assume at this point that you have some prior knowledge of Illustrator with regards to setting up your documents and getting things ready to start. So I'm not going to cover any of that now. We're gonna dig straight into creating these four pieces of fruit using just basic shapes and we might cheat just once and use the pen tool but it's very light use of the pen tool i know the pen tool scares a lot of people especially if they knew in illustrator so don't you worry too much about that okay so we're going to start with the lemon let's take a look so i've got a blank artboard here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our shapes panel now these are the basic shapes we're going to use to create all of our fruits in this tutorial. So these are the basic shapes we have to play with. We're also going to be using the line tool very lightly. And of course, as I already mentioned, there's one tiny little thing that we're going to create with the pen tool. Okay, so let's make a start. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool for the body of the lemon and we're just going to drag it out until it's kind of the shape of a lemon. The next thing we're going to do is create two smaller ovals to create the little nubs at the top and the bottom of the lemon. And we'll align those like so. Smart guides are extremely handy to quickly align shapes to each other. So if you don't have your smart guides enabled, make sure you go into view and ensure that smart guides is ticked. So next we wanna create the leaf. So we're gonna use our line tool. So I'm gonna drag out a line using the line tool to start off our leaf. As I'm dragging my line out, I'm holding down onto shift to ensure that it's a perfectly vertical line. Next thing we wanna do is go up to your tool panel at the top and we wanna change the width profile of our line. Select the very top one and just increase the value, the width of that line until you start seeing a shape like a leaf. So we're gonna rotate it and drag it into position on the lemon. Now remember, it's still technically a line, so it's going to behave like a line. And what we want is for it to behave like a shape. So I'm going to keep it selected, go into Object, Expand Appearance. So now it's a shape in its own right. The next thing I want to do is I want to basically divide this leaf in half. So I'm going to draw a line across the leaf like so. And again, smart guides are super handy, so make sure you have them selected. Okay, so now I wanna select my line, holding down shift, I'll click on the leaf as well so they're both selected. And then we wanna go into our Pathfinder tool. So there's a shortcut on the right-hand side, but if you don't have it open, go to Window and select Pathfinder. And then if you go to the bottom option here, there's an option called divide. So using that tool has split our leaf into two separate shapes. So let's bring in our palette and we're going to color each side of this leaf a slightly different shade of green. And I'm just using the eyedropper tool to sample the colors from the top. And remember, when it comes to design, you wanna try and reuse your assets. You've made something, if you can reuse it, do it. So I'm just going to select my leaf. I'm gonna drag it out while holding Alt, which will create a copy. And I'm gonna change it slightly. I'll change the rotation, make it a little smaller. 
and I'll position it over there and I want it behind everything else. So I'm going to right click, arrange, center back and our lemon is done. Nice and easy. Next, something a little bit more complex. Let's have a look at our slice of watermelon. Now the base of this watermelon is a triangle and we can get a triangle from our basic shapes by using the star shape. So when you drag out the star, before you let go, use your arrow keys to reduce or even increase the amount of points and you'll get a nice, perfect triangle. So what I'm going to do, if you noticed, I've created my triangle in red and my bounding box is red as well, which makes it hard to define the edge. So I'm gonna just double click on my layer and I'm gonna change the color of my bounding box so it's a little easier to see. The only downside in creating a triangle using the star tool is we get a few extra anchor points on the lines of our triangle that I really don't need. And if I keep them there, it's going to be a hindrance to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna to go to delete anchor point. I'm gonna hover over all of these points that I don't need and click to get rid of them. I'm just gonna actually change this to a black outline shape so it's easier for you guys to see on screen. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna create that nice curve at the bottom of the slice of watermelon. So to do that, I need to select my pen tool we're not actually drawing anything with the pen tool, guys. We're just going to hover over the bottom line. You can see the guide is there telling us we're exactly in the middle of the triangle, which is exactly where we want to be. And while we're hovering over, I want you to click on Alt. You'll see the pen tool cursor shape will change and drag it out until we get to a point where, where we want it to be. A nice curve. Let go. And there we have it. So the next part is a little more trickier, but we're doing the same thing a few times, so it shouldn't be hard to follow. So as you know in Illustrator, we have two selection tools. We have our selection tool and our direct selection tool, which is the white cursor. So what I wanna do is I basically wanna copy this bottom curve of our triangle. So I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and click on the curve at the bottom. Then I wanna press Control Copy to copy that line and then control V to paste it. I'm gonna go back to my normal selection tool and I wanna place this line somewhere around here to make the skin of the watermelon. Now once that's in place, we'll select everything and we're gonna use the same tool as we used before, the divide tool in the Pathfinder. So now what we have is two separate shapes. And now we're gonna do that again a couple of more times. So we'll go to our direct selection tool, click on the bottom, we're gonna control C to copy, control V to paste, and we're gonna put it down near the bottom of the slice. And we're gonna do it one more time and we'll put this one on top of this curve up here, like so. Now we'll select everything again, go back to divide, give it a click, and now we have four separate shapes that we can color independently of each other. So I'm just going to right click to ungroup and then I'm going to sample the colors that I want from my palette by clicking on the objects I want to color and using the eyedropper tool to sample the color from the palette. And there we have it. Next thing, nice and easy, we want to do the seeds of the watermelon. So I'm going to drag out an oval using the oval shape and I'm gonna color it in a very dark gray. We just want three seeds on this slice. So we'll pop one in the middle. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag to make a copy. This one will rotate a little bit. We'll select it again, hold it down, press Alt and drag it out. And now the rotation is wrong. I wanna basically mirror the rotation of this seed. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go into Object, Transform, reflect and I want to make sure it's set to vertical. Press OK. So now I want to make sure that these two bottom seeds are nicely aligned with the whole of the slice. So I'm going to select one, hold down shift, select the other and I will right click and group them so they behave like a group. Then I'm going to select everything 
and then I'm going to go into my Pathfinder tool and right next to the Pathfinder, you'll see a little tab called Align. And I want to make sure I align it to the artboard. Click on the second option and this will align everything perfectly in the middle. And in doing so, it aligned those middle seeds to the middle of the watermelon. I hope that makes sense. And there we have it. Next up, strawberry. Okay, so for the strawberry, we're going to again use our oval tool, but we're gonna use the direct selection tool to do a few changes to it directly. So we'll open up our direct selection and select the anchor point right at the bottom of our shape. And I'm going to pull in these handles on each side, make sure they stay relatively even. And you can see it squeeze the bottom of the oval a little bit. Now I'm going to select these two middle anchor points. So I'll select one, hold down shift, select the other. So both are selected at the same time. And then I'm going to drag them up a little bit. And now I'll just do some fine adjustments. As you can see, if I drag a box over the, the anchor points that I need, that's just another way to select those anchor points. And there we have our strawberry shape. So we'll color it red. The next part is a little bit more tricky. We're going to do the leaves at the top of the strawberry. So I'll create this oval shape again, and I'll place it right in the middle. I'll hold down Alt, drag out a copy, and this one I want to rotate just a little bit. I want another copy, so I'll press down Alt, drag out, make another copy, rotate it a little less than the first one, and place it kind of in the middle of those two shapes. Let's just do some fine adjustments on this top shape. Next, I want to copy over these two shapes to the other side. So I'm going to select both of them, hold down Alt, drag them out, and again, we want to reflect these shapes. So I'll go into Object, Transform, Reflect, make sure it's on Vertical, and press OK. So now we have a nice symmetrical bunch of leaves. Next thing we want to do is create the stem. So for this, guys, we're pulling out the pen tool. So, so select the pen tool and make sure you have a stroke selected. And then I want to click where I want my stem to start. So somewhere in the middle of the leaves and I'm going to click out just a little bit off center. And before I let go, I'm dragging out my cursor and we can see that a curve is starting to form. So once I'm happy with the arc of that curve, I'll let it go. And as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty scrawny. So we're going to go up and increase the width of that stroke we just created. So now just some final slight adjustments. And then the last thing we have to do is create the tiny little seeds on the skin of the strawberry. So I'm going to color those yellow, drag out an oval shape again, hold down Alt and drag out as many copies of that shape as we need. And there we have it. Really simple strawberry done. So hopefully by now you're starting to see how we can use not just the basic shapes, but how we can then go and edit those shapes very slightly to create new shapes. Okay, so saying that, how are we going to create this apple? Well, of course, we're going to start with an oval yet again. And like the strawberry, I'm going to select the bottom anchor points and I'm going to drag the handles in just to sharpen the curve of the bottom part of this shape. Now, we are going to rotate it very slightly, hold down Alt, drag out a copy, go to Object, Transform, Reflect, Vertical, yet again, OK. And there we have our base apple. So now the next part is easy, guys. We're going to create our stem exactly how we created the stem for our strawberry. I'm going to select my pen tool, pick a stroke, I'm going to go for this brown, and We'll start it here, drag it out before we let go of that second anchor point so we get a nice curve. And then I'm going to up the width of my stroke just a little. But for the apple, we're going to change our width profile again. So this time I'm going to select this pointy one. So that basically means the beginning of my line is going to be fat and the end is going to be thin but I don't want my stem to look this way. I want it to be flipped the other way around. So if you go to your right-hand side, you've got a stroke panel. And if you click on it, you get some different options for your stroke. 
And if you go all the way down to the bottom, right next to it, we can basically flip the effect we just applied. So I'm going to click that button. And now I've got the beginning as being thin and the end being a little thicker. Pull that down a bit and I'm going to right click, arrange, center back. And now remember guys, if you've already created something and it's usable, reuse it. Don't create it again. So I'm going to copy in my lemon and I'm going to reuse one of my leaves. So I'll copy this one across and there we have a leaf for our apple. Done. That is it guys. Don't make Illustrator harder than it needs to be, especially when you're a beginner. It can be very daunting. There's so many tools. There's so many little weird and wonderful things you can do in the tool, but let's start simple. And then as your knowledge grows, as you start needing to know more to take your art and your design to the next level, you'll naturally come across new and wonderful tools to help you along that journey. I'll see you guys really soon. Take care.